Good afternoon. This is Macasia Jackson with the JFK Report outside the Phoenix State Capitol. And right next to me is candidate for Arizona State Legislator, District 2, Christian Lamar. Christian, how are you doing? Good, man. How are you doing? Good. Great. Good. Doing great. So you're running for State Legislator, District 2. Uh, tell us about that. What's going on? What are your plans? What's the agenda? So uh, my name is Christian Lamar. I'm running to uh, be the America First State Representative in the new Legislative District 2 of Arizona. Um, my platform and my focus is putting American citizens first in every single thing that I do. And that's election integrity, First Amendment, Second Amendment, no red flag laws. Every citizen is a militia. No, uh, no gun safety laws, no measures to limit the right of the people to keep and bear arms. Uh, no mandates protecting our free exercise, protecting our freedom of religion, our freedom of speech, our right to peaceably assemble, and our right to petition the government. Those are very, very, very important to me. Um, and, you know, election integrity has been front and center. And uh, we, we just saw the 2,000 ballot mules, uh, irrefutable video evidence, as well as geo coding. Uh, and that you can't, you can't dispute that. There's no way you can. And I will absolutely, if it is not done by the time I'm in that legislature, and it doesn't look like it will be, I will champion decertifying and nullifying Joe Biden's 2020 electors in Arizona. I will do it. That is a promise, and I will do that. Uh, there's also many other issues that we need to deal with. Uh, the duplicate ballots, that's a huge problem. Failed ballot signatures, uh, banning Dominion voting systems, that's another big one that needs to be done. That is going to be a top priority for me. Uh, even before 2020 and, and 2019, uh, when uh, I saw some of the things that were going on in our uh, ballot override special election, uh, I recommended to my state representative that all citizens inside the polling precincts, which are the voting precincts, would be allowed to record election workers. Uh, I mean, that's that should be easy, something to do that uh, we could easily all agree that we should have total transparency. And quite frankly, if police officers have to wear body cams, so should election workers have to wear body cams. And um, and of course, the, the border. I just got back from uh, Yuma County uh, at Anogales and as well as uh, the Andrade station, uh, which connects California to Arizona. And um, let me tell you, I literally was standing in the gaps of the wall. And let me tell you, if you go down to Yuma, down to Yuma County, Yuma, Arizona, the city, you within 15 minutes of that city, you can literally stand at the gaps in the wall. And there are people who are, there are two types of people, two, two types of aliens. They, one type that turns themselves into the customs, U.S. Customs Border Patrol, and the other types that don't, and they slip away and they escape into the country. That's a problem. And as a state representative in the great state of Arizona, a state representative does have power to ensure that American citizens are put first, that we're not encouraging people to come here. And there are things that we can do to ensure that when somebody comes here, they don't just automatically uh, reap the benefits of being in a public school district. Uh, automatically reap the benefits of food stamps and Section 8 and, and HUD and all these different things. We need to tighten that up. And that's the right thing to do. And I'm going to do just that, which is to put American citizens first. Parental rights, another big key issue for me. I've been working tirelessly with the Washington Elementary School District parents, helping them in any in every way I can possible, whether it's public records requests, talking to the superintendent, talking to the school board, uh, stop having them stop the unconstitutional mandates. I have tirelessly worked for parents and I will not stop because education is the key to economic opportunity. Every single option should be on the table in relation to parents and their children. If it's school vouchers, if it's ESAs, you name it, charter schools, whatever option that the parents want, homeschool, special needs, it should be on the table. And I will fight vigorously to defend that right for parents. Um, and, then, and then as well, uh, I am 100% pro-life. 
all the things that have led us to this point where we now see uh, the, the pending decision of Roe v. Wade. The court has not made a decision yet, despite, you know, the draft out there. They haven't made a decision yet, but that decision is coming. And I will tell you right now that I will always defend the right to life because the, the right to life is actually in our 14th Amendment. Life, liberty, property, due process, process of law and equal protection of our laws. And so that's very important to me. Uh, the you, you take a look at the history, which, which speaking of which, and I haven't announced this, so I'm going to announce this here on his channel. I reached out to the state of New York and I requested the trial record of Margaret Sanger in the New York state court, because there were some people that were making the claim that Margaret Sanger was not running an abortion clinic. Well, I got news for you. If you soon, I will release this information in the trial record, it actually shows that she was using a chemical that poisons and stops the heart and the brain functions of the human body. And I will show that I will release that soon. So I, I will 100 percent be pro-life and I will fight to protect the innocent unborn babies. And, uh, and and as well as putting American workers first, American workers are the fabric of our country. We, we need to prioritize that. That is, not only is that a, a key issue for our state, it's a national security issue. When we, when we are allowing uh, uh, other countries to uh, take our riches and our wealth and our prosperity, it hurts us directly. And, and, it, and as we see in 2020, we were very dependent on many of these foreign nations to give us the things that we need. So prioritizing and putting American workers first will absolutely be a priority for me. And I will never stop fighting for the American worker because I'm an American worker myself. And so I understand uh, what it takes to have the training and the skills and the qualifications and having a career path. I started from nothing. I was a, a bus boy and I went from being a bus boy to, uh, to being one of the most sought after engineers in, in my information technology industry. And, and I know that our, our workers are being left behind because they don't have someone in there that's fighting for them. Well, I am going to fight for the American worker. And so I look forward to uh, winning the primary on August 2nd, winning the general on uh, November the 8th. We've got a Democrat in our district right now campaigning with the Arizona State Democrat Party chair in Legislative District 2 in the northernest part of the district. So that tells you how bad the Democrats want to keep hold of this seat, but we're not going to let them have the seat. We're going to step up the committee men, the state committee men, and the precinct committee men of our district, as well as the voters are going to step up and win this, win both seats so that we have both seats in Republican hands. And so uh, my website is christianforarizona.com. Uh, you can go there, you can make a $10 contribution in any state. If you're a, a, a U.S. citizen in any state, of the United States of America, you can make a $10 contribution to my campaign. That helps me with campaign signs, with door hangers and other print materials, as well as the physical mailers that I will have to send out to the voters. And uh, you can be a part of this race, helping to put an America first state representative in the AZ State House. And so again, that's christianforarizona.com. I, I definitely appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Wow. Outstanding. Outstanding, Christian. So you guys all heard that. Now, the beginning of it, you hit big on election integrity and you said you want to protect the First Amendment of and I want to go there real quick. I think the biggest problem right now in this country is if without a First Amendment, how can we have our Second Amendment? How can we go protest or go peacefully assemble to address our grievances? You know, you saw what happened during the lockdowns. You see that the federal government created the Department of Truth, the Ministry of Truth where they're going to say, oh, this is misinformation. So, you know, they're coming after people claiming that the election, what happened with fraud and the 2000 mules move that just came out. And you, you just see what's going on. Then you see what they're doing in our, they're going after public schools and what they're teaching of CRT and how they're indoctrinating kids with Marxism. So it's outstanding that you're doing that. And this is Arizona state rep, you know, and it's all about grassroots politics right now. Forget about what's going on federally. We have to focus on what's going on in our states. When all the states get together from local county to the state level 
we could thrive as a state and then bring back this nation. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you've met with Kerry Lake. Yes, yeah. I have. Yes, I have. And Kerry Lake uh, has endorsed me uh, for state representative in uh, in Arizona for the legislature in the 2022 election. So I definitely appreciate uh, Kerry Lake. And uh, she's well, been, I think, phenomenal uh, throughout this process of of, of finding our next governor. I think she's going to make a fine governor. She's going to put American citizens first. She's going to be tough on the border, uh, strong on protecting the innocent uh, unborn babies, strong on parental rights. No, absolutely no to mandates. I think she's going to make a fine governor and I look forward to having an America first governor in the legislature. So it's to top this off, you know, we great conversation right here done as a state representative i mean i've been following you for over a year and i'm glad we're meeting but um something on culture we see that the spirit of age with this fascist marxist movement coming in our country and ungodly people then there's this weird sense of the white liberal and these fascist liberals talking about race and so much and especially going after black america going to their trying to shut down churches trying to say and, and abortion, you know, uh, black Americans, black babies lead the death rate for the highest abortions. You brought and you brought up. Uh, yeah, Martha, Mar 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 Margaret. Margaret. Yeah, Mar Margaret Singer. She the Nazis got her their studies from her energetics. It, what we're pushing is no different than what was being pushed in Nazi Germany. So. And when you hear about white liberals, just especially, you know, not specifically white liberals, but a lot of them talking about black America and what you're doing, like what's your stance on that and fighting it back against this race that you're pushing and how it's impacting black America all over this country? You know, every single time that I think about um, folks who uh, seek to divide us, uh, you know, I, I, it always, I always bring it back to God, you know. When we, you know, if you believe in a higher power, I mean, I certainly believe in a higher power, but if you believe in a higher power, you know uh, that there's something greater and stronger that holds out not only our nation, but really our world together. Um, and, and I and I think about uh, the afterlife. Well, what happens, you know, after we die, after we leave this earth? And there's not going to be a, a, a separate section for black people and all the black people who died are going to be over here and all of the uh you know uh, uh, caucasian people are going to be over here and all of the latino people no we're all going to be in the same area they're not going to be segregated and sectioned off and if you go to heaven it was, especially if you go to heaven there is not going to be a separate place for the for the apostolics and a separate place for the pentecostals and a separate place for the jews and a separate place for the christians and a separate place for the baptists that's not how things are going to work. You're going to be blended in. You're going to you you are going to be arm in arm with someone that you wouldn't even dream of expecting to be arm in arm with. And so so that's what, that's what I think about when people start talking about race, and and still today it's a sad thing, but the the Democrats who own the media really because I mean really the Democrats own Fox News. The Murdochs are donated millions of dollars to Joe Biden's. 2020 presidential uh, campaign. So uh, because of the media being run by the Democrats, they understand that all they have to do is say the R word and that will get people to move or change from their position. And it's time to, to stop that. Stop allowing the media to dictate not only public interests, but even our country's interests. Our country's interests and the public interest and our state's interests should be with you, the people. And, and, and that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to take the, the, uh, this, uh, what you could call it, influence away from the media and give it back to its rightful owner. I'm not going to be asking the media for advice like some of the uh, other folks in this capital, particularly the rhinos. They ask the media for advice, folks. So what they're asking them for advice because they have uh, figured out a way how to control our country using the public's interest against it. And, um, and, and, and I 100%, not only do I believe in 
uh, blended families and, and, uh, and, and, and even, you know, my, my family, my, my, my mother uh, has a, has a Caucasian friend. We've been friends with them since I was born. She was at her wedding, in her wedding before I was born. Every time I go back home, and, and and we have uh and we have the opportunity we we go to their house and we spend the holidays with them uh i, I mean it, it just and and even one of the one of the one of my friends here in the state of arizona who's known me the most in the state of arizona she's a she's a caucasian i've i've kept in touch with her for years so i i i don't see color i see the people and the person we all bleed red blood we all have DNA. We all have uh, uh, the same type of uh, uh, systems from a from a human biology standpoint. We are all the same. We are all one, and we cannot allow these liberals and this Democrat media to keep pushing the race card or keep pushing racism. Uh, you know, they, they are what they're doing is they're looking for a supply of racism because there is none. That's what's happening. Uh, well said. Uh, you guys, Arizonans, if you're in District 2 of Arizona, elect Christian Lamar. Primary is August August 2nd, August 2nd then general is August 8th, uh, November 8th, 2022. We're going to get Christian in the House. We're going to put Arizona first. We're going to put laws and legislations in that's going to help Arizona thrive. There's so much we could get done because the real quick, uh, our state legislator is voting way too close. Most of the votes that are getting passed that are in our favor that we're trying to push for, it's only winning by like two votes. You've had a few rhinos in the House and Senate vote no on many legislations. Then you have the radical Marxist Democrats in the state that are just out of touch with everyone. I mean, we heard about uh, the one gentleman, uh, Navate, I think, who got arrested for uh, allegedly uh, for pedophilia, sleeping with a 13-year-old boy. and. Then they replace it with some even more a radical lady from, uh, I think, just outrageous. So it's time to put Arizona first. And Christian is the man to put in the office here. And District 2 of Arizona, when you see this, reach out to him, support him. Uh, May 28th, you have a rally for election integrity? Yes, yes uh, May 28th at Turf Paradise on 19th Avenue and Bell Road. We're having a election integrity rally. This is the third installment of my campaign kickoff series. Uh, my very first rally was a Second Amendment rally at Patriot Nation Firearms uh, off of Bell Road and 43rd Avenue. And then my second rally I had uh, at a, this was at a barbershop that I helped save during the pandemic. It's a, bar, a barbershop and beauty salon. And uh, there was a barber that, I, that has cut my hair for over 10 years. And uh, I, I assisted her during w one of the tough times that she had. And so we so we had that we had the rally there, even though that was outside of the district, because I thought it was very important because she's doing uh, better than she's ever uh, been. And uh, and she is prospering. She's having uh, some of the best times uh, for for not only her business, but really for uh, for her life and her family. And so and so we had that uh, that Second Amendment and First Amendment as, a, as our first two rallies. And this will be. Uh, the, the the pinnacle, the election integrity, and uh, I look forward to it. Turf Paradise is a, a very nice facility, and uh, I'm very thankful to Mr. Mr. Sims. Uh, he he used to be uh, a a mayor uh, in, in one of the great cities of Arizona, and I definitely appreciate him uh, for opening up his property and his facilities to allow us to have a good time. So come on out, free food, freedom. And just us having fellowship uh, and and anyone that wants to show up and just grab a plate, come on in and do it. I would love to see many of you come out and uh, you'll get a chance to meet other hardworking America first citizens who love our country. And it'll be a great time. God bless you, Christian. I'm into that. Guys, this is Macasia Jackson with the JFK report here next to me is Christian Lamar running for Arizona District 2 for state representative reporting from phoenix arizona mark 835 god bless the usa god bless arizona amen